Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescaserigs.com. Knocking out a case of 2022 Tops Tier 1 Baseball 12 box picker team number 27. A lot of great stuff in here as we know, so let's get to it. Big thanks to this group right here for getting on the action. Thanks to the people who bought their team straight up. Appreciate that. Then we pulled the remaining teams that were left and made two different random number blocks for it. So here are the results of those number blocks right here. Here's the Angels one, the slightly more expensive of the two that we did. And we also, um, these randomizers are also in a different video if you're looking for that. But these are the results. So we'll, set, uh, we'll actually set that over here to my left. And then here's the uh, another group featuring Seattle, et cetera, et cetera. Also, we did that in a separate video as well. And this time, we actually gave away two spots within the number block right there. All right. And let's do it. Yeah, we're, ta we're talking a little bit before we started this video, talking a little bit about Fernando Tatis Jr. being uh, suspended for PEDs. Rex is arguing he had to go to the doctor for a ringworm and then get med so a doctor should have warned him what was in it. Right, unless Tatis Jr. went to a doctor that is not familiar with the whole, I don't know. If he went to a team doctor, I feel like he should know. But a regular doctor, I don't think is, is obligated to know exactly what's on the PED list or not. That's on Tatis Jr. to tell his practitioner what's on this list. But I feel like he, he didn't do it. My guess is probably it was a, it was an honest mistake probably. He thought, hey, there's no way my medication for ringworm or whatever is ever gonna be on this list. So he probably was just like, whatever, thanks doc for the, the anti-ringworm thing or whatever it was and there you go. Double O two out of two forty nine. Jake Cronenworth. Now, if Tatis Jr. did tell him the list, and the doctor was like, "Eh, I don't think it's in there," <laughs> and that that might be on the doc. Speaking of the Padres, Double O two out of two forty nine. The Crone Zone. Jake Cronenworth, part of that uh, that Padres number block, and that San Diego two. That's part of the Seattle group, and that's going to go to Rick T. 48 out of 299, Ernie Clement. Cleveland, this is for you. I'm gonna go to Eddie H. And the Cleveland Guardians. Yeah, I feel like there should be an appeal, Logan. I mean, if it's if they can if Major League Baseball can term it's a it's a like you know that it's a uh, honest mistake, then maybe they could reduce that, something like that. But yeah, I don't know why these guys don't go to their team doctor. Here's Will the Thrill, eight out of 25. But then again, team doctors often have the team in mind as their best interest, not, uh, not the patient per se, if you get my drift. There's Will Clark, Chris Walker in the Giants. So maybe he wasn't comfortable seeing the team doctor. I don't think they should cut him some slack for the sake of cutting him slack, but I wonder if, if, if there's any kind of appeals process or anything, maybe not. That's like, hey, this is an honest mistake appeals process. Let's, let's shorten the shorten the thing, but anyway, sort of fr frustrating for for his teammates and and the team and the city, of course. They go all in on Juan Soto, thinking that they're going to be have this. I mean, they'll still have a potent lineup, but you know, what I'm saying Ryan Heinz with the. Uh, with the Yankees, gets Glaber in. Oh, you can appeal, but he's already dropped the appeal. Got it. 
89 out of 299, Spencer Watkins. Orioles are a number block team, part of that Seattle group, so that'll go to Orioles 9. That'll be for Chase. And there's Vlad Guerrero Jr., 68 out of 125. Expo stuff, of course, goes to the Nationals. And so that's, uh, that's also part of the Seattle group. Washington 8. Chase with Vlad Guerrero Sr., Yeah, team should screen all the screen. Yeah, I, I don't know what the... Uh, I have no idea what the sort of collective bargaining agreement says about medical care. You know, team doctors may only, may, may only be able to diagnose or be able to... to, uh, to know X amount of... Th maybe they're more sports... I don't know. Maybe there's just different specialities that you need to go to for for that sort of stuff. And if the team doesn't have that, you may have to go to another doctor. Or if it's a non-sport related injury, maybe there's privacy issues that players may have. There's 11 out of 349, Dustin Pedroia. Karen, with laser show. So I don't know how that works. It, what, what access you know Major League teams an employer has on their employees' medical records. I don't know how much of that you give up or not give up when, when you're a professional baseball player. So, I don't know. I don't know enough about that. 61 out of 299, Jazz Chisholm. Mike Cody, the Marlins. And back here is Larry Walker. Nice, 134 out of 175, tier one talent. Larry Walker. Eddie with the Rockies. Great penmanship right here, too. I like it. Thanks, Daddy, for picking up the Rockies straight up. Next box. His doctor's a Dodgers fan. I don't know. I don't know if the Dodgers were that threatened by Tatis Jr., The Teoscar Hernandez, 11 out of 349. That's for the Blue Jays. That's going to go to Chase. Picked up the Blue Jays straight up. As a Glenn Otto Otto. 9 out of 10, Glenn Otto Otto going to the Otto Otto, going to John. John G. That one. Nice silver ink auto on this too. On this auto auto. Are all of the out of 10 silver? Maybe. How's Glenn Otto doing this season? Just curious. I'm going to do a quick check on baseballreference.com. Former fifth round pick. Not so hot. I'm sorry. 17 starts, a 5-2 area, 4-8, 69 strikeouts over 83. And it's only his second year. This is the most starts he's made in his major league career. So maybe one to kind of put in the back of the drawer and see how he emerges. Look at this. O'Neill Cruz, 110 out of 299. This exciting youngster going to chase with the Pittsburgh Pirates. Picking up the Pirates straight up before it went into a number block. He cut it really close, too. This is exactly who he was looking for, he said in the chat earlier. Nice breakout autograph, O'Neill Cruz. That's what he, yeah. There you go, Chase. Congrats. I remember, Chase. That's what you were waiting for. O'Neill Cruz uh, started off the season really hot. 
Still has a 1.1 war over 165 at bats. Um, 206 batting average. He's got to work on that. But nine homers, 34 hits, six stolen bases. You know, he's got six doubles in like 45 games. A triple, nine homers. So. pretty exciting his defense is legit that's right I'm sure that average will improve over time as well but he's, f he's splashing a little power there are nine home runs in 45 games that that that's about what is that if you get 45 games what's 40 I, I know the this 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 is not gonna be one like like for like but That's about 30 home runs on the season. That's not bad. 342 out of 399, the big unit, Randy Johnson. Sorry, we need to recruit another, another ex-Dodger. Ryan Heinz with the big unit, the Yankees. We got Sonny Gray, 225 out of 299, Red Legs edition. That's going to go to Jonathan Kent and the Reds. Yeah, Rex was mentioning that earlier too, Jonathan. My only my only counter is, is that is that um, Tatis Jr. maybe went to a private doctor, his own personal doctor. That for whatever reason, it's not his job per se to know what's on a private organization's banned or not banned list. It seems like that's on Tatis Jr. to tell him what's there, not the other way around. You know. 7 out of 10, Joey Votto, Silver Ink Autographs. Another red leg for Jonathan. But yeah, Taylor Clark saying it's a topical cream used to shrink ringworm. Those done contain al those don't contain anabolic steroids, which he is what he got popped for. Yeah, well, I'm not sure we'll ever really know. Chad, that's on you for for looking going on ESPN. Well, I don't know who, what doctor he's going to, John. I can't assume that he's. What if he's going to like some pediatrician? What if he's going to some some not very good doctor that doesn't know his stuff, but it's a family friend? It's Edward with the twins. There's a Mar uh, Aramis Ramirez at 299. I don't know. I don't blame the doctor in this situation. You know what I mean? Like, I think, I think that's on Tatis Jr. And he said as much, too. Canard with the Cubs. Well, I mean, we're, we're just as good as ESPN. I'll tell you that the Angels have 0% chance of making the playoffs. There's Dale Murphy, 6 out of 25. Cubbies, Canard with Amaris Ramirez. The Braves are a number block team. 6 out of 25. That goes to Angels uh, number block group, Angels 6, or uh, check that, Atlanta 6. That'll be for Chris Butler, the Dale Murphy Gold Inc. Auto. Right, that's true, Logan. I mean, I don't know where he's right at right now. Did he? Is he back home in the Dominican Republic going to a doctor there? We don't know. Mariners apparently have his 27%. What would Joe Jaspi say? Well, JSPN would, uh, would, say, would say a better chance in the Angels. That's what I say. I don't, you don't need numbers to tell you that. Uh, 25 out of 25. Some nice game-used relics here. Ronald Acuna Jr., another 
Brave. So this is Atlanta 5 this time. Sean Healy with Atlanta 5. Jack Flaherty, 138 out of 299. So more than zero is my... Absolutely. Hot takes from Joe Jaspi. Jack Flaherty for the Cardinals. Pat Wolf gets the Cardinals straight up. Wait, we were just looking at the standings. How does... You must be looking at some wrong numbers. The Mariners are a half game ahead of a wild card, of the three wild card spots. And the Angels are 10 games behind. How are they? You're looking at the numbers wrong, Chad. Angels are 23 and a half games behind first. The Mariners are 13 games behind. Uh, and it's Joe Ryan. You must have gone to... You must have gone to uh, TriggerChadDaw.com, <laughs> a site to troll Chad. 249 out of 299. Joe Ryan, Minnesota Twins. Edward with the Twinkies. Tell me where I need to go on. You tell, tell me exactly the steps I need to go on ESPN. I can't sit here and search. Uh, I'm in the middle of a break, Chad. Where am I going? I'm on ESPN.com right now, MLB homepage. ESPN.com slash MLB. Ooh, extra relic in this one. Although we, I mean, we got a little time. I'm at standings. Oh, Nick Jaspi has. Wait, I went to standings. What? Hey, that's why we're here, Jonathan Kent. No, that can't be right. Five thirty eight dot com has Seattle with seventy nine percent chance of making the playoffs and the Angels with a less than one percent chance of making the playoffs. So this this is on you for, for consulting ESPN. Nope, I'm still right, Rex. I'm using the correct sources. Uh, Orioles are a number block team. Baltimore 7 is on this side. Chase. 538 worse than ESPN? Unlikely. Nick Jaspi's an Angels fan. 538 says Astros have a greater than 99% chance to make the playoffs. There's Bryce Harper, 152. Got to, can't, look, can't just have one resource, Chad. Multiple resources are helpful. 152 out of 199, Bryce Harper. Phillies, Rob with the Phillies. Is Joe Musgrove to two ninety nine? I don't know. They're they're trying to be like a data center, but I don't know how successful they are. Padres four. It's one fifty four out of two ninety nine. San Diego four is for Raymond. And there's Cabrian Hayes. I like this action shot. His helmet about to fly off right there. Nice action shot for Chase. Pirates, last spot mojo. But I remember um, there's like a 
they have a soccer power index for ESPNFC.com that's consistently seems off all the time. So I don't know. Those numbers must not be updated for some reason, or they're using some. I mean, you have to be. You have to question. I don't even see their methodology on percent chance of making the playoffs. They don't even have a, a, a something to click on that. I don't know why not, but you know, I'm always skeptical of of a place that really doesn't share their their methodology. As far as I know, some intern could just be punching in random numbers, just what they think. Ooh, and an 8 out of 10, Jacob DeGrom. Man, long-suffering Mariners fan Chad says, you're putting the Mariners on at 27%. What's your methodology? How did you get to that number? That's for Taylor Clark and the Mets. There you go, Taylor. On the board. Let's see what else we can get for you. There's Yanni Hernandez, 118 out of 299 for the Rangers. John with the Rangers. Oh, you're taking this. All right, yeah, I, I take that. I take that also with a grain of salt, Chad. 193 out of 299, Byron Buxton. That'll be for Edward and the Twins. Getting that tier one talent autograph. Yeah, he's pretty good. Also, fan graphs. Why don't we use a real baseball site here? Fan graphs has the Mariners' chance of making the playoffs at 86.1%, and the Angels' 0.2% chance of making the playoffs. I think I'll, I think I'll trust uh, fan graphs before I would trust ESPN. That's all baseball. All they do is baseball. Let's take a look at playoffstatus.com for whatever that's worth. They have the Mariners at making the playoff, the wild card at least, 86%. Let's take a look at baseballreference.com. Playoff odds to make the playoffs. Uh, where is AL West? There it is. It is... Postseason, 89.4% to reach the postseason. One ninety nine out of three ninety nine. Mike Piazza Padres edition, that famous Padres run that he had. That will go to Padres nine. Padres are part of the Seattle group, and that'll be for Chase. J.D. Martinez, piece of his lumber, 310, 210 out of 349. Red Sox, Karen, the Red Sox. I really thought J.D. Martinez would get moved at the deadline, but. Gavin Lux, 82 out of 299. He's been hitting the ball well. All right, Taylor's like, I got I have the Mets and Dodgers and the Padres is a Piazza. Yeah. Well, making the World Series is different 
from 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 the from the playoffs, Chad. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. For, let's let's go one step at a time. He was a Padre for a season. He did play 126 games with the Padres. That was the second to last year of his career. 37 years old. He hit he hit 283 with the Padres. 22 homers, 68 RBIs. 19 doubles in 126 games? That's not bad. Hmm. Well, at least you'll get this Gavin Lux, Taylor Clark. He's been hitting the ball well lately. And we got Bill Mazeroski, 236 out of 299. That goes to Chase. Last spot mojo doing well in this break. Last dude to hit a a walk-off homer in game seven, in the final game of a World Series. I think the only guy to do so. I guess there's been other World Series clinching home runs, but he's the only guy that's done it in the final game of a World Series to clinch the entire thing. All right, two more boxes to go. Let's get this guy right over here. That's Freddy Peralta, 270 out of 399. Game used material for Ryan Hines and the Brew Crew. We got Yoel Pozo. Yoel Pozo. 227 out of 299 for the Rangers. That's going to be for John G. and the Texas Rangers. And this is a jersey. Wow, nice patch auto. Jesse Winker. He's a Winker, folks. 8 out of 10. Red Legs. That's Jonathan Kent with the Cincinnati Reds. Nice three color patch. It's got a, some nice penmanship. This is Reds edition, 8 out of 10. Prodigious patch autograph. All right. Last box coming up, boys and girls. Good luck. All right, another extra hit in this box. It's like an extra relic. We got Big Boppy, David Ortiz, 173 out of 399. That's Karen with the Red Sox. Karen, I was at the uh, Field of Field of Dreams. I was at the Hall of Fame about uh, almost two weeks ago now. And uh, a lot of people crying around that Big Boppy plaque. Looks good. Josh Donaldson, Twins Edition to 349. That will be for Edward in Minnesota. Now we got two, I think, autographs left. Fingers crossed, everybody. Good luck. First one is Nick Fortis. 275 out of 299. Mike Cody and the Miami Marlins. Mike and the Miami Marlins. Sounds like a band, Mike and the Miami Marlins. And there's Tim Raines, eight out of 125. That is for the Nationals. Expo stuff goes to the Nationals. And that's a part of a number block team. That's part of that Seattle number block group. There we go. This is a nice snug fit in there. 008 out of 125. And that is for Chase with eight. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's the break. Another case of Tier 1 Baseball in the books. Another case will be loaded up. Remember, the um, everyone on this list, if you didn't have a good break here, remember, everyone who bought a team straight up will be on the list for the promo. And Random Number Block, those two groups, those 10 spots each there will also be in the promo as well. We got a few big breaks to knock out by the end of show Tuesday night. 
to get that promo done. So let's keep working on it. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next one.